Hello everyone and welcome again to my YouTube channel and welcome to another review. So yeah guys, today I will be reviewing a platform called XP. So they promise up to 1.4% um, profit or gains every day uh, with liquidity farming. They're also, they also claim to be an arbitrage trading platform. So yeah guys, I'm just going to jump straight into something that um, I noticed and um, yeah, hopefully that will you know open a lot of people's eyes because uh yeah just I'm, I'm gonna go straight into it before i carry on even with the rest of the review because usually i you know i try and be an, as unbiased as i can with these platforms even though some platforms are just you know obvious obvious scams um so yeah i'm i'm just i'm just gonna tell it like it is as usual so uh yeah xp.io scam all legit points to consider so i'm just gonna go go with this this first point this is the main point that i'm gonna make and something i noticed with a different platform called Swapnix a year ago um that was the exact same thing claiming to do crypto arbitrage um and also you know promising similar returns daily one percent two percent whatever you know um unsustainable gains obviously if if again if there's especially if there's no um trading or whatever going on you know le legitimately so uh main point the crypto prices on their website are not the same as the prices on the crypto exchanges it was the same thing on a scam site last year called swapnix that scammed a lot of people including a close friend of mine swapnix so basically this is a swapnix copycat look i think the website looks at well okay swapnix we website actually looked pretty good um but this looks even slightly better i would say that's also how they catch people out is oh wow look the website looks so good and so professional therefore they must be legit no guys that's not how legitimacy works right um so yeah i'll get to the i'll get to the next points but this is the first point that kind of just exposes the whole platform um there was the same as swapnix um that's why i was actually scanned by a platform that pioneered i would say the these arbitrage arbitrage scams um i was scammed last year by it because i because i was pretty stupid i didn't know any better right ignorant um yeah so therefore you know i got scammed because it was the first time i saw a platform like this so uh cotps was exactly the same thing the website looked like looked bad though um but yeah, so then after COTPA, Swapnix was the second one of, you know, the same kind of arbitrage thing that came out. So, um, yeah, and that also scammed a lot of people. So, yeah, I, if I, I didn't, obviously, I didn't make a video about Swapnix because, again, they, 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 tr they rug pulled so quickly that I didn't even, you know, have a chance to make a video on them before they rug pulled. COTP was, T COTPS was a different story, but anyway, so let's go back to Swapnix, so you'll see guys, exactly, if you, if you look at Swapnix, it's exactly the same thing, so let me go into exactly what I'm talking about, guys, because, you, you know, let me not um, beat around the bush here, uh, and quickly go into XP, so I just created an account, I'm not freaking promoting this, because this is for me, um, it's just, it's just the same thing as Swapnix, really, it's the same, this is following the same pattern. Um, so, if you look at Binance, right? Uh, look at the price here. So, just look carefully, guys. Even you can see on top here, it's not the same. Now, this is a dead giveaway. I mean, if this was a le legitimate crypto arbitrage, right? Why would why do they have different pricing prices on here? And I mean, you can't even make the excuse. Oh, maybe they're lagging a few seconds behind, or hell, even if they're lagging minutes behind. If you go minutes back, Bitcoin was not the, this price on Binance. Because again, guys, if you know what arbitrage supposed, what it what it's supposed to be is, um, you, you find different. Like let let's say you go on Binance, right, and Bitcoin is thirty seven thousand uh, dollars on Binance. Um, let's say you go on KuCoin, and it might be slightly less, maybe just under 37,000 but there won't be a big difference it's just there aren't really um, any arbitrage opportunities out there anymore so uh, unfortunately it's just the way it is the price the exchanges are very um, are, like the prices are very similar maybe a few years ago someone told me that um, there were bigger price discrepancies so there were bigger price differences so you could still more or less do a bit of arbitrage you wouldn't make much 
Um, definitely not 1.4 percent every day, but but yeah. So this is the first dead giveaway. I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, guys, you know that's the price right there, and this is the price on on Binance. So it is basically th 36,943. On, on XB, that's what they're claiming, is $36,775. And that's, some of you might think it's not a big difference. That's a massive difference in price. It's a massive difference. It's it's basically like uh, almost $200. Wait, yeah, is it the difference? Yeah, it's around $200. That's a, massive, that's, a, that's a massive difference in price, guys. If you know anything about trading, you know that is a massive difference. So... Then you got we go on Kraken again. I, I brought up some of all the exchanges, guys, so that you guys can see, um, you know that the the point I'm trying to make here. Okay, let's quickly just refresh here on Kraken and see what the price is. Three six seven eight five, right? Three six seven eight five. We okay. No, that's we go back to XB uh, and and we see three six seven three six. Okay, not that big of a difference, but kind of still you know. 50 50 dollars more or less um the binance one is just a big <laughs> it's just a big uh big uh sorry dead giveaway uh let's check howby now howby is also exchange it's big it's a big exchange for the asian market um specifically uh but yeah anyone, anyone can use it. it's actually a nice exchange it's a great exchange to use um as well they're pretty solid um i personally you know go with binance but anyways it doesn't matter it's just let's just get the point across here um okay so three six seven four nine right um on on the halby exchange uh, and we go back there okay change quickly but it's again it's still not the same three six seven one five so again like 25 bucks out you know uh, again, like, how can they be claim to be legit if if they can't even get this right? This is like the easiest thing. Uh, it's just such a dead giveaway. It just, it just, again, it just shows, guys. You know what? This proves again that they aren't doing arbitrage trading. If they can't even get the prices right of the of the cryptocurrency on on exchanges, and again, I'm just using Bitcoin, but that's that's enough. Uh, then then how the heck are they are they doing arbitrage trading then if they can't even get the prices right on their supposed i don't know what they're claiming to be um they're not claiming to be an exchange or anything but website i guess um uh, bitstamp right let's go on bitstamp let's see what bitstamp is three six uh, seven one five bitstamp where you at let's have a look at bitstamp now that's okay x Bitstamp, three six seven three eight, right? Anyway, let, let, let's just refresh. Just so that's not too much of a discrepancy. And may, maybe they might change this after this. Maybe they see this video and they were like, okay, now we gotta, now we gotta, you know, get the somehow make sure our website's prices line up with the exchanges. But it's too late, guys. Well, specifically, I'm talking to this exchange. It's too late. Or oh, sorry, this website. Um, you're really being caught out. You know, it's it's not the same. It's like twenty around twenty twenty five dollars out more or less, right? Uh, you guys want to look at more? Well, let's look at more. Uh, do we do we do Bitfinex? Bitfinex. Um, three six five five two. Okay. Um, let's refresh. Three. Okay, that was three six five five two, right? Three six seven five three. So that's that's two hundred dollars out. Hmm. Uh, what else? What else? Exchange can we do here? Okay, X. Um, interesting name for an exchange. Uh, okay, Kraken three six seven one three. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh wait, well, we we can check. We already checked Kraken. Sorry, three six seven four seven. Right. Three six seven four four. Uh, no man, what what are we checking now? Let me just let me just go back to that. Sorry guys, it's just um sometimes hard to keep track of all of this. Okay, you can see you can even see up top there. That's OKX. That's three six two seven two one. So this is about a three thirty dollar discrepancy. It's um that it's out. 
So again, guys, my point is, if they can't even get that right, they probably aren't doing. Uh, there's no way that they are not probably 100%. They are not doing. Um, they they are not doing arbitrage trading. So, you know. So if you do have money in this platform, guys, you know personally, I would tell you. I don't want to tell you what to do with your money, but I will just say, you know, what I would do if I had money in this in this stuff, I would I would take it. Well, in XP, I would take it out. After seeing this, they've 100%. Um, when I discovered this with Swapnex, I was like, there's no way I'm putting... And, you know, and, and I considered Swapnex um, last year until I saw, saw this. Until I did some research and saw... Just this simple thing. The the fact that they can't get the prices right on their... That they, their prices on their website is not the same as the exchanges. It, it's all, it's, it's, it tells you more than enough to know. I mean, you can look at the rest of the stuff. Or it, it, it doesn't matter. It's just the simplest of things to get right and they that they haven't gotten it right so like <laughs> oh, it's actually a joke it's silly that the same exact same platforms pop up you know history repeats itself i see i see like you know similar platforms or whatever usually to do a trading you know scam platforms pop up every single week you know and yeah it's unfortunate um but yeah let's carry on with this you know uh, okay let's look at a different crypto though let's look at okay what, what how does this thing work now oh just by the way guys um how are they the 1.4 percent thing is the liquidity what's it liquidity farming whatever whatever that's supposed to be um like what wow you, you know like I, I just don't get how it would work like just money out of thin air. It's just they, they use it as some sort of a buzzword. Oh, liquidity farming. So it's just like so people think, oh, it's something new or something special. Um, how are they generating returns with it? It's just a simple thing, guys. You have to ask yourself. How do how they how are they generating returns with the liquidity farming? Are they actually mining crypto with 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 um, ant miners? You know those those the big big machines um, that you pay a hell of a lot of electricity for just by the way um or did they mine it with the graphics cards because again this is liquidity farming so who knows how they generate their returns uh yeah you know um auto trading uh, this is the auto trading again it's probably just click a button and auto arbitrage and you get whatever percentage per day i think with sw swap next back in the day it was like two percent or whatever per day which is ridiculous again it's like how are you generating those returns oh arbitrage but again th th there's no arbitrage going on here that's already been established uh okay so let me just try and do a different crypto though binance kraken what, what is this but this is bitcoin how do i change this i guess bitcoin is really like the, our dead giveaway right so no Choose a trading pair. Um, I don't know. Let's just let's click on this. Let's change the crypto. Uh, again, like, but the the fact that like Bitcoin is already a dead giveaway for me here. But uh, gosh, I'll I'll find it now, guys. Sorry, I wasn't. I thought this would be a little bit simpler. But how do I change this now? It's a different crypto. Anyways, guys, I guess it just doesn't matter. You just do Bitcoin alone. It's probably going to be the same. It's, it's the same thing with, with sorry, with the other cryptos. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just a dead giveaway. This is different exchanges. Uh, I guess I just click on different pairs here. Let me just cl click on a different pair. Aha, okay. Figured it out. Okay, ETH. Okay, so let's look at Ethereum, right? So obviously it's it's not, um, the value is not as much, Ethereum is not as valuable as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is 37,000, Ethereum is 2,070 something. So, um, but yeah, let's look at the prices here if we, let's look at Ethereum. So, 
I don't think I need to do any more than two cryptos, I guess. Just really got the point across. So you're not going to see, you know, like a hundred or two hundred dollar difference, but we will see, we will see a difference. So 2082, two thousand eighty two dollars on Binance, XP two thousand and seventy nine. Okay, so still three dollars out, guys. It's a, it's quite a bit for such, you know, for for such a small, relatively small um, crypto market cap. Oh, sorry, crypto price. Um, Kraken twenty ninety three. Okay, so let's see what Kraken says on Ethereum. Uh, uh, this is not. I'm not an exchange that I personally use, so I'm just going to try and um, figure this one out. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Let's just go. Let's just go back here to back to crypt, um, Kraken cryptocurrency prices. Prices, okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. Ethereum. Let's click on that. Again, Ethereum is a... Uh, okay, so, so now Kraken is a dead giveaway. Are you guys seeing this? See? Like like 12 bucks, $12 difference. That is quite the difference. Especially if you're claiming to be trading... Um, you know, it's, you're claiming to be trading this stuff to be arbitrage trading but but also guys if you actually look at the exchanges you'll see there's like the point i mentioned earlier there's not much of a difference so you just can't do arbitrage i mean you can try but it's just it's, it's not worth it it's just better to to trade normally to do trade forex or or to trade spot trading with the, on you know if you're trading crypto spot you know it's better to buy the crypto do spot trading um you know do margin trading where you, you trade with some leverage, which is, which is risky, but you know if you know what you're doing, then you can make a, a good, good decent amount of money. And you know it's a skill that anyone can learn. But anyways, I'll get to that. Um, so 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 so. Uh, what X back to XP? I've got so many tabs open there. Uh, sorry guys, I don't want to bore you, but I'm just gonna. Do a few more. Let's look at Halby. Let's look at Halby. Okay, we're ETH. 2078. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. This is a little bit closer. 2080. Halby uh, again. Where's Halby? Okay. So they almost have Halby right. Like $1 almost within a dollar, right? Kraken is a bit of a dead giveaway. Um, let's look at one more, one more ETH, let's go with KuCoin, 2081, okay, 2081, let's go back to, where's ETH, okay, 2079 on the actual exchange, right, 2078 now, uh, 2080, so, $2, $2 dollars difference. But yeah, again, go back to Kraken, you'll see the same thing. Uh, yeah, big big difference, big difference, guys. Quite the big difference. And for fun, let's do one more crypto. Let's see if we can also catch, because Bitcoin was um, a bit more obvious. This, the, I think the smaller cryptos, they'll be a little bit, they'll probably have it a little bit closer to being correct, but... Uh, let's go XRP here. Okay, so Binance XRP on XP is 64, 0 0.6483, so it's around 64, almost 65 cents, right? Okay, but let's see, XRP, okay, so we're going to go with cents here because <laughs> actually like small, okay, six, here we have 64.52, right? 6487 okay so it's off like by 0.3 of a cent which again for for a, for something that's only worth a few cents that is again quite the difference especially if you're claiming to trade this stuff um kraken um, I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna do Qco kucoin kucoin where's xrp at xrp xrp ah there we go beautiful 
Okay, let's go back to XP. What to choose KuCoin? Uh, 64, 5, 9, 64, okay, 5, so, very small difference, but it's still there, um, you know, you can still, you can still spot it if you, if you look, you know, if you, if you got eyes to see, you know, uh, let's see if we can see a bigger difference with, say, something, which, which exchange, I'm going to try this, oh, okay, gate.io, I didn't even try that one, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I need, is that even an exchange? Wow, okay, first time I've heard of that one, but okay. Um, but Phoenix. But Phoenix is 64525. Uh, 64525, where's XRP at? 64579. Okay, so also a small difference, but again, it is there. Even if I update it, now it's 64605. 64525. Still 64525. So, again, guys, I've done three different cryptos already. It's just, as you can see, it is such a dead giveaway that things are not what they seem. And again, you can you can look at yourself. Look, um, what like I say, whatever you do with your money and whatever is up to you. But just you know, do some research before putting money into anything. Especially like this, if it's, they just can't, if the, it's so obvious, right, that it's, they're not really legitimately doing arbitrage trading as they claim. So, so yeah, let's go, let's go to, are they actually doing what they, you know, well, there's no proof that they're actually doing that. Um, you know, they just have a website with a fancy website with the stuff on there, but again, we just, we just proven that they don't, that they can't, they can't be doing arbitrage maybe at least at least if they could get the prices right then um they might we might have a case um you know but uh, yeah and then you got the the liquidity form or whatever um yeah printing money out of thin air by the looks of it uh darius okay so who is running the company uh darius Dim dimitropolis so this guy let me show you this guy is uh, okay so i went on their website and you know you can just if you go here or somewhere you can see the name and they got a they got a youtube channel so this is apparently dimitri uh, how do you say this dimitropolis dimitropolis like almost metropolis from superman uh okay so this is apparently the guy if you if you watch this video because i i want to play it but i also don't want to play it because just now youtube is uh, gives me a copyright thing you know um so Play this video. Do yourself a favor, guys. Play this video, and you'll see that it's lip syncing. You'll see it is a, a bot that is talking, right? So I mean, <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculous. It's funny. It's just after seeing this kind of stuff. Um, see, I'm not going to play it now because I don't want to do this video all over again. So, but again, you just just go into the YouTube channel XP, or if you can't find it, just simply go into their website, and uh, you know there will be a link here somewhere. Uh, just. If you go on about, I think it's platform. It's uh, no man. Ugh. Company. No, 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 no. Stop loading now. About. Okay. XP mission. It's somewhere here. But anyways. Uh, so yeah, if you play these videos, you'll see it's it's a bot talking. It's not even it's not even a real person. This guy doesn't exist. And it's it's an actor. If you look, you search his name, you'll see he does not exist. You, you Google his name, it's just a bunch of XP stuff. I mean, there's no third party, there's no other people like, you know, he doesn't have a LinkedIn profile. Um, but even a LinkedIn profile, it, it, you, know, you know, it's just not real, real, really that legit to be fair. But he doesn't even have that. <laughs> he doesn't even have something simple as a LinkedIn profile to prove who he actually is. If he does, well, you know, um, I will just update a video on that. But again, it doesn't really you know it's the fact that the guy can't even speak for himself you know he has to have a bot you know just proves that it's just an actor it's laughable it's laughable um yeah so the lips are moving but the sound is different um okay so apparently they've been running since april 2023 
Does it have a good track record? Well, I'm going to say okay so far because apparently people can still withdraw and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but again, guys, and I'm going to say this, like I've said a million times, just because you can withdraw money from a platform doesn't make it legit. Because like, for instance, Ponzi schemes. If you know how a Ponzi scheme works, if you don't know what a Ponzi scheme is, Google it. Um, if, but a Ponzi scheme is basically, um, you know, early investors get paid out, right? They, they invest. And the later investors lose out because then they can't withdraw. So if the, if the platform gets to a point... You know, like these days, the crypto ponzi's, if they get get to a point where um, people are starting to withdraw too much, then they do a rug pull, they stop the platform, the, the later investors lose their money, um, the early investors maybe make their money back if they're lucky, you know, but it's just a money rotation, that's all it is, just people, you know, giving people to other, money to other people and to the scammers, right, um, until, until the thing falls, there's, there's no trading going on, there's no... There's no, there's no gains being generated from your money. It's just basically, you know, someone handing someone else money and such and such and such until you know, the thing falls. And then obviously, who's the biggest winner? Obviously, the person who started the, the, the scam. So, yeah, hope that's a good explanation of a Ponzi. But again, just Google it and you'll see. There's a lot of crypto Ponzi's out there. But that's basically what they do, you know. And it's, it's, not, it's not legitimate, so... You don't want to even be involved in something like that, guys, where you know you just simply, the, the, the gains, the so-called returns that you're making are just from so, some poor guy that joined later and, I um, mean, he loses his money and he can't get it back and, you know, so it's just, don't get, if, if you know it's not legit, then just don't get involved, guys, you know? Um, if you don't know, it's a different story, right? If you've done all your research and it seems legit, well... You know, but again, I'm not attacking anyone that's getting that gets involved in online. I know we're all trying to make money online and stuff. Um, I'm I'm always I'm, I'm mainly going after the platforms that are trying to scam people. So I just thought I would add that point here. But anyways, let's go let's go on to this review. Um, so do they have a physical office? No. So um, no no physical office anywhere. Again, it's, it doesn't matter that much. You know, if it's uh, cause most people work from home. Most um, platforms these days of you know, crypto is an online, most mainly an online thing. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go back to. Um, okay, so I've basically covered all my points. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if this video was a bit longer than it should have been, but um, you know. Okay, so obviously we're going to trust pilot. We'll see. It's all good reviews because. Um, yeah, you know, guys can withdraw their money. Therefore, it's legit according to them, guys. Again, that's it's not a, it's, it doesn't say nothing. Yeah, so basically, you can withdraw until you can't withdraw. Then you know. So, it's uh, with, whether you can withdraw money or not. You know, that does not determine whether the platform is legitimate. But it is. It's you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um. Uh, okay, well, well, guys, um, I'm just going to do one more fun thing. Just, you know, I'm not saying it's impossible that, to make these kind of returns, you know, like um, some traders make crazy gains. Just doing it consistently, you know, let's go with the liquidity farming thing. Um, they're saying that's what you're making daily, right? Um, whether it's compounding or not, I don't know, but... Um, Farming period three. Well, I don't even know how this exactly works. To be fair, is um, anyways. But let's just say you get one point four percent per day. Or, or heck, let's go with with <coughs> sorry with the with the lowest percentage. Let's go. Let's just do three years, right? Let's invest. I don't know what the minimum is. Twenty bucks. It's invest. So, even with 1.1%, guys, consistently, right? And again, not saying it's impossible, but I'm saying, you know, especially if there's no, if there's no proof, there's no, no, nothing being generated to the trading. I mean, there's traders that make more, way more than this, you know, almost on a daily basis, but consistently, even for them, it's tough. Like the best traders in the world struggle to make 1.1% consistently right they can make five percent there's some some guys that have doubled their accounts in a day but again it's that's extremely risky um not really the best way to trade is more but but i'm just saying right but 
yeah you know consistently that that's the big thing all right let's just assume okay we're, it's compounding 1.1 percent 20 20 dollars over three years you're like so if this was a legitimate platform it, it would be no problem for them to hang around for four years five years you know the, the crypto exchanges have been around for five years plus longer actually some 10 years maybe if i'm not mistaken 10 years plus so and obviously you know those crypto exchanges are legit like binance so if this was legit like a crypto exchange then it wouldn't be a problem for them to hang around you know for three five years ten years but um yeah so look at five years guys you invest you invest i say that you know loosely twenty dollars one point one percent daily for five years so yeah highly highly unlikely guys so again i just like to do this with a compound interest calculator so that you guys can just comprehend the numbers um so yeah anyways guys that is that is all i have for this video um there's not much more to share um again go back to look at what swap next was and and you'll see the same kind of similarities it's almost the same thing copycat of swap next um uh, yeah guys so that's about it for this video um as usual thanks for watching hope you found some value out of it uh uh you know and um yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh and i'm just gonna quickly share some stuff with you guys as usual you'll see that you'll find some more reviews through my channel um and um yeah recently did another review i do have you know other other potential platforms that are um legit right that actually do what they say they're doing you know and just um but again, what I'm also going to say is you can learn how to trade yourself as well, like actual trading, right, um, on a demo account. I have a free signals group as well. The link for that is below this video, again, with the other platform um, that I'm involved in. Again, you can do whatever you want, but uh, yeah, again, stuff is there. Um, you can talk to me personally if you want. Uh, you know, I have a my phone number is below this video. So you can send me a, a message on WhatsApp or on Telegram if you're interested in, in whichever, you know, in, yeah, you know, free, uh, my free Telegram group in some of the platforms I'm involved in. Um, you know, just just thought I would share that with you guys in case you are looking. But yeah, guys, again, the main thing is, like, I would also I would also say, is if you can learn how to trade yourself. And again, it's there, there's a lot of you know good content on YouTube. It's that you can learn for free. It's a skill you can learn for free, and if you put in the time. But again, to make it simple for you guys is again a free signals group. I don't charge anything for the signals group. A lot of guys do, so. You know, if you need a legitimate forex broker, because that's also, you know, some brokers are shady. If you need a legitimate forex broker, I have links below for from the ones that I use that I've never had issues with, um, that are as solid as it gets, you know, regulated, licensed in multiple countries. So if you need that as well, you know, um, just let me know. We'll just click the link for whichever broker you want to use from my, from my best broker to um, my last recommended one, so to speak. So, so yeah, guys. Um, yeah, that'll be that. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just almost forgot. This is their their official chat Telegram group. It's almost eleven thousand. It's more than eleven thousand people on here. So that's uh, yeah, ish. That's all I can say, ish. Hopefully those guys, you know, get out before um, they they run away with their money. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what you know. If you never traded before, this is just what the signals group looks like. Um, Again, it's completely free. You can start. You can you can learn on a demo account, guys. Not real money, but again, the it's it's how you learn. You trade on a demo account to learn how to trade. Once you get a, you're happy with your strategy and that, then you obviously move over to real money. But the market moves exactly the same on a demo account, guys. So yeah. Anyways, so I would add that. So, all right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And as usual, have a good one. Cheers.